My name is Peter Gross, and I read minds. What was the first name? James, what was the last name? Joyce, take a look at the pad. James Joyce. <laughs> the difference between my show and other shows you might hire is that I think people come to a mind reading show with their skepticism on their sleeve. They arrive ready to not believe. And I love that because that means in the very moment where I get them, where I create a moment, um, they're not even expecting it. It catches them off guard and it often creates a lot of laughter. So uh, sum it up for us if you don't mind. Where's the key? Yeah, where's the key? Yes. No, I don't know. Tell us the city, though. No, 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 very traditional, a little bit guarded, but that's understandable. They're on stage, they're not comfortable. Then we have arms and side rubs, and the arms and side, fully neutral, trying to give nothing away. And then we have this. <laughs> this is what I call the, I know he doesn't have x-ray vision, but just in case he does, I'm going to put the stone behind my back, in my hand, with the other hand on top, just in case he can see through my entire body like a cat skin. <laughs> stage and my job was to hide from the audience. I had secrets, I didn't want them to know. But with a mind reading show, the secrets are actually the audience's secrets. I want you to close your eyes and think about this place. You have an image in mind. Very specific, isn't it? Here's an interesting detail, if I'm not mistaken. You have an image of a place there's water and there's dry land. Is that right? Yes. There's water, though. But here's the weird thing. There are trees, right? But there are no people, are there? No, that's right. 